Hi crafty friends, it's Joy with another Lawn Fawn video. Today I've created two cute shaker tags using the Happy Mushrooms die. I've die cut everything ahead of time. I have one large mushroom, two small mushrooms, some greenery, and two of the Say What gift tags. I want to do some ink blending on both of the gift tags. I'm using Salvaged Patina Distress Oxide inks. I'm going to use this for both. I'm going to only ink up part way. I did want the top to be white and then have a little bit of color at the bottom. The Say What gift tags have the frame and the background piece so you can make a shaker card or excuse me, a shaker tag which is obviously what we're going to be doing here. So I'm gonna finish ink blending the second one. Again, just going part way up and I'm cleaning my surface in between because I didn't wanna get ink on the back of the tags. Then I have die cut the mushrooms and I wanna do a little bit of ink blending. I'm using aged mahogany on top of the chili pepper cardstock. Then I have, and all of these are distress oxide inks. Then I have the apricot little mushroom here and I want to use a little bit of the spiced marmalade to ink blend on there and then I'm using ballet slippers cardstock and I will use kitsch flamingo distress oxide ink to ink blend on top of this. I just wanted to give a little extra detail to the mushrooms and doing ink blending is a quick and easy way to add some color. Then for the mushroom stems, they are die cut from white cardstock, and I'm going to use a little bit of Lost Shadow just around the edges. I still wanted it to be white, but have a tiny bit of color. So I will do that for all three of the little mushroom bases here. And the greenery is die cut from Sage Leaf cardstock, and I am adding a little bit of bundled sage to the outside edges. It's just a light slight color difference. It's not um, a huge bright difference, but it adds a little bit of something. And I did cut some extra greenery. I did not end up using all of these. Now I have die cut two pieces of acetate using the full piece, the full tag die from the Say What gift tags. And I'm going to adhere that with some liquid glue behind the frame gift tag. Then I want to add some foam adhesive. I'm going to add two layers of foam sticky strips around the edges. This is going to give enough space for all of my shaker bits inside of my little tags. So I have some foam adhesive strips. I fold two pieces together and then I peel off one side of the release paper and adhere this down, trim it down, and then I can release the other paper off when it's time to adhere the two tags together. Let's fill these up with some cute hearts. These are just some clay hearts that I had in my stash. I'm going to do a red and white in one of them and then pink and white in the other. So I'm just going to fill those up and then we can remove that release paper and add the back of the tag. And I did add a good amount of shaker bits because I'm gonna have the mushrooms at the bottom of the tag and I still wanted to make sure that you could get a good view of all of those fun little shaker bits. I've adhered the back on there and I wanna make sure to press down really good on that foam adhesive so nothing will come falling out. But look at how cute these are. I just think they're so much fun. Let's tear that to the back. And now we've got our two little shaker pieces. Let's adhere these cute little mushrooms from the new Happy Mushrooms die. You have your front piece that has the little holes in it, then you have your back solid piece. I will adhere the mushroom cap just on a slight tilt. That red mushroom is going to go on the shaker tag that has the red hearts, and then these two guys will go together on the other shaker tag with the pink hearts. So let's adhere that front to the background and then we can adhere the bases. And I'm laying this out so I know which way to tilt the mushroom caps. So these two smaller mushrooms will go together on one tag and I think those colors are so much fun. I do wanna add some of that greenery around 
to fill in some of the space. So let's adhere these down with some liquid glue. Some of these little, uh, the two little greeneries are gonna go on this one and then there's a medium size and a large leaf that come in this die as well. This one will have a little bit of foam tape. I want it to be on top of that or in front of that pink mushroom. And then let's add this second piece of greenery. I was just deciding if I want it tucked or over and I like that it was over that top mushroom. Okay, let's work on our second tag here. I'm gonna lay out the greenery. Again, I still wanna be able to see some of these shaker bits so you can peek at the bottom and see them. But obviously when you shake them, you'll be able to see all of that fun little stuff inside. Let's add some foam tape behind this large mushroom. And I did end up tucking another larger leaf behind that red mushroom. And then I'm adding another smaller one on the front. These hearts here are from the Little Heart Strings border. I have die cut them from light brown wood grain cardstock. I just felt it would bring in more of that natural look. And so I want to adhere some of those at the bottom. And I think they added a nice little extra touch. Then we have to do our sentiments. Let me add some highlights first here. But the sentiments, I am going to stamp from the Porcupine for You stamp set. And I'm using the insert that came out of the front of this tag. And I'm going to adhere that to the back of our tag. So I'm going to place that in the Misty. And the sentiment says, I love you so much. And I'm going to stamp that using some lobster ink. So I want to get that lined up on that little insert piece. Again, this is kind of the discarded piece that came in the center of that um, front tag because that's the frame, but it's going to fit perfectly on the back of my tag here. If you didn't want to do it this way, I would say stamp this sentiment first on the back of your tag before you adhere it, before you adhere the um, foam adhesive. But I think this is really cute. So I'm going to adhere that to the back of each tag. Both tags says the same thing. And the pop of red I think is really cute on the back. Isn't that fun? And then I'm using some peppermint hemp cord for the little ties at the top. I did add some of these hearts. So I had some leftover wood grain hearts. So let's push this hemp cord through. And now we have this cute little tag, super, super simple, but these happy mushrooms are so darling. And then let's take a look at these up close because they are so fun. Look at all that fun shaker material inside and that mushroom is darling. And then you have these two little mushrooms and they just turned out so, so cute. Thank you guys so very much for stopping by and watching. I hope that you enjoyed this project and I hope that you feel inspired and have a wonderful day. Bye. 